Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So after learning that you all love Massimo DT as much as me, I thought it'd be great to review their new autumn collection and show you several ways I'd style their pieces. The grown-up big sister of Zara with an affinity for luxurious fabrics perfectly bridges the gap of fashion over 30 without ever compromising on style. So first up I chose this silk habitai blouse in a beautiful shade of mink. I love the contrast of something so luxurious dressed down with a pair of jeans and flats. It feels effortless yet elevated at the same time. I went for this in my usual size 10 and though it's big and flowing at the hem, the fabric is so light you can easily tuck it in. A little later in the video I'll show you how I'd style this blouse at night. But for this look, it's me very much in my happy place for the daytime. I don't usually wear prints, but if I do, it's always something like this. Gorgeous muted tones that are effective without feeling overpowering. I love the on-trend tie-dye look, and I think they've managed to capture that spirit in a really grown-up yet elegant fashion. Both made from 100% viscose with a side zip on the skirt, they not only fit beautifully, but have a lovely movement when you walk. Bow blouses are everywhere this season, and Massimo Duty's interpretation is one of my favourites I've found. They're great pieces you can style in so many ways. Loose, relaxed and informal, knotted at the neck for a sharper look, or my favourite way to style them in a bow. I've been wearing these sort of blouses in so many different ways recently, and I particularly love them with midi skirts too. I've been looking for a pair of flares for a while, but think I finally found the perfect ones with these. It's an up-to-date twist on the trend, which is what I love, made from fine needle cord. They're available in both navy and black, but I chose the latter for more versatility in my wardrobe. I've styled them in this look with a contrast brown blouse and boots. Finished with my blazer and classic black bag. It's an easy, everyday look that if you notice on my Instagram page, I've been wearing a lot. What I love about Massimo Duty is their attention to detail, like using a blend of wool and mulberry silk for a simple turtleneck sweater. As you'd imagine, it feels beautiful against my skin and incredibly warm too, despite it being relatively lightweight. I love the diamond print as well, a nod to the jumpers we saw all over the catwalk. And of course, with a hint of camel thrown in for good measure, I couldn't resist. Styled with a midi skirt and knee-high boots, it's one of the huge trends this season that still feels really wearable. I have all of you to thank for this one, helping me finally choose which coat to go for. And you were right, the Massimo Duty version is so timeless and I absolutely love it. So I went for the wool blend version and it cost £249. An investment, yes, but when we're talking about a coat that will last for years, it's still really affordable. I don't think I'll ever regret purchasing a beautiful winter coat. In this look, I've styled the tie-dye skirt with an accrued jumper. I love the mixture of textures together, and it's a look we've seen lots of this season. I've gently tucked the jumper into the skirt to give it an up-to-date feel, and paired it with my chocolate brown heels to add a little height. It's the sort of thing I'd wear to work and just add tights when it gets a little colder. Nighttime chic with this next outfit where I've styled the silk habitat blouse with the high-waisted flares. They make me feel about six foot tall. Though they do need taking up a little, I find them a really elongating pair of trousers, which is never a bad thing. Again, that mixture of textures really works and I think the whole outfit looks a lot more expensive than it actually was. 
always a sign of a good piece. Next I went back to the bow blouse and styled it with a pencil skirt for a perfect office outfit. It's smart, understated, yet elevated all at the same time. Adding my beautiful wool coat completes the look. If you're heading for drinks from work, simply undo a couple of buttons and wear the ties loose for a more relaxed look. The great thing about buying separates is that you can mix and match them in so many ways. In fact, this whole order from Massimo Dutti feels like a capsule collection all on its own. I've dressed down the tie-dye shirt here with a pair of straight jeans from H&M. The fabric and print on the blouse take centre stage, while the other items simply complement it, rather than vie for attention. I do love a good turtleneck and flares combination. It's instantly lengthening and the pop of blue on the jumper makes the perfect understated statement. As with most tops this season, I've tucked it in and added a belt for a little more definition. I'm going to get lots of wear out of this coat because it literally goes with everything. This turtleneck is equally available in a claret tone, which I think would work equally well. Dressing the trousers back down again this time, I styled them with this alpaca sweater from H&M. With a little French tuck at the waist and letting the jumper slip slightly off your shoulder instantly relaxes the outfit. Worn with my day shoes by Everlane in that pretty tone of taupe, it feels laid back, not trying too hard, but polished at the same time. Another workwear option for you now by simply mixing the plain bow blouse and the tie-dye skirt together. I would style this look by just draping the coat around my shoulders. It instantly elevates any outfit and though it's not hugely practical, it does feel a super chic look. Bringing out those brown tones in this look with the addition of my leather tote and light camel loafers. It's not matchy-matchy, they're just complementary tones. Styled with my J Brand skinny jeans makes it feel everyday without losing any of the polish. These jeans are actually my favourite skinnies at the moment. The shade is darker in real life than it looks on here and they're a great fit. I finally tore myself away from my lovely new coat and paired this outfit with my Reese one. Though made from wool, it's got a light, almost cotton feel to it. And styled like this, it lifts the whole outfit. All my winter coats tend to be fairly neutral tones. I found that way they last far longer. Last but not least, a few tan accents to finish this outfit. The tie blouse works perfectly with the flares and I think the brown leather details make the overall look more chilled out, which suits my style perfectly. I'd love to hear your favourite outfits in the comments section below and if you're not already subscribed and you like this video, well that would be lovely too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back on Wednesday with another fashion video for you.